Luca previews what it'll look like playing alongside Clay Thompson and Kyrie Irving on his hand injury. Check out the video. I know you said uh, Clay is unbelievable to have him on the team. How, how do you think he's going to change the offense and, and change just how you guys play on that end, having a shooter of that level? I mean, you basically can't help off him. Uh, you know, uh, when me, me and Kai, when we have the ball, uh, you know, you basically can't help from Clay uh, because if you leave him wide open, he's going to make it. So uh, I think uh, the spacing is going to be crucial for us. And, you know, but more of that I will tell you after a couple of games. So more dunks from you this um, season? No. <laughs> Maybe. I think just the experience to being in the finals, uh, you know, I think it's different than other games. Uh, I don't know why I can't explain, uh, but just being there feels different. And obviously last year wasn't good enough. Uh, you know, we wanted to win it all. Uh, so that's uh, like when I say it's you're going to learn, it's the same as motivation. You know, it's a big motivation to win it. Took things from his journey even before he got into the NBA um, and made it my own. Um, you know, he comes from... Uh, rough side of Chicago statistics really said that he shouldn't have made it out and uh, he carved away by utilizing basketball as a vehicle to put his family in a different position put his friends in a different position so there's so many different things that I, I admire and respect about that guy um, because you know when I was 19 or I was 19 getting ready for the draft I remember watching him uh, and I was in Chicago at a playoff game and uh, it was probably the first time I had told myself that I wasn't as uh, quick as somebody on the court or uh, wasn't as explosive. Uh, I don't think we will ever see something like that again in that framework or frame of body. Obviously, we have comparisons, but when D. Rose came into the league, he really uh, set the point guard role at a different precedent. And uh, he made us all get better. You know, you look at the era of point guards I grew up in with Russ, D. Rose, Steph. Um, you know, obviously, you got the late... Uh, uh, late, later in his uh, career, J. Kidd, Steve Nash, John Wall, um, Damian Lillard, all of us have taken bits and pieces from each other's games, um, but our stories is what connects us forever. So D. Rose is definitely on that list of some of my favorite people in the world and one of my favorite players. Uh, yeah, my hand is a lot better. Um, unfortunate uh, circumstances, but also uh, I think it was, it was much needed in terms of uh, just how to slow down after a long season like we had. And uh, I was playing, you know, three days after we uh, lost in the finals just because I didn't know how to transition out of uh, just that competitive space. It's, it's been a minute since I've been able to be at that top level. Um, and it hurt a lot, it was disappointing. And all I knew at that time was go to the gym and get some more work in. Uh, so uh, I think breaking my hand gave me a, a lot much needed rest time. Uh, it took me about eight weeks to heal from that. So from about you know, July or so, beginning of July until now, I've just been trying to get back and uh, get into the swing of the rhythm of basketball. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video, Hoop Life Family.